If you're like me, these games are great, but why don't we unlock all the games for the Super Nintendo? There's already people hacking this system now, and it looks like the same hack that works for the NES Classic is going to work for the SNES Classic. All you have to do is back up your kernel, install the new one, and transfer over your ROMs. It will allow RARD files to save a lot of space. So in this video, we're gonna show you the program. We're gonna update the link the minute it drops. And in the comments below, we're gonna have quite a few links to get all the ROM packs you need to unlock the full library of Super Nintendo Entertainment System games. You can already see that as you go to settings over here, it says console type. And you're just gonna go over here to SNES Mini. If you're in Europe, it'll be the Super Famicom Mini. So just like the NES Mini and the Famicom Mini, you're gonna have controller hacks, you're gonna have all sorts of other settings. You can say whether or not you want the original 30 games. This is for the NES Classic. Instead of saying including original 30 games, it will say include the original 21 games. And there's over 700 titles for the Super NES. It's 789 titles totaling about 650 megabytes for all the games in the current RARs. Like I said, check the comment section below. So many great titles, so many great games I wish was included with the SNES Classic. And now with this Hack G2, it's gonna be very easy. What you wanna do is just back up your kernel if you haven't already. You might have to install some drivers, hook it up via the mini USB to your computer, and then you can make folders for how many games you wanna transfer, because with 700, over 700 titles, you will need to make folders for that all to fit. And then you're gonna transfer it over. This, this application is very friendly, so it'll give you pop-ups as far as what you need to do, if you need to hold a button or press whatever. So I imagine within the next few days or so, this should be live. The best part about all of this is it looks like Nintendo fully anticipated that this was going to happen. And they left a note for Tinkers that says, enjoy this mini, disconnect from the present, and go back to the 90s. When you download the application, it will be a .exe. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and run it anyways. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and start transferring your ROMs. You can also search for your box art. It's very easy. It uses Google search to get all your images in your system. And then lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you on the next one.